Sunday, January 10th, 2021, evening meditation. Meditations are taken from Meditations and Readings for Every Day of the Year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, First Choices Teacher in Moral Theology. Act of faith in the presence of God, in nomen de Patre, Fili, Spirit du Sancti, Amen. Most holy, adorable, and undivided Trinity, one God and three persons, I believe that thou art here present. I adore thee with the deepest humility, and render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thy sovereign majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. O Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and my Mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. Christian soul, reflect on these. Every day of your life, there is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for, saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, one heaven to win. Act of humility, litany of humility, O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, Deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being culminated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver me, Jesus. That others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may become holier than I provided, that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask for your guidance in this our evening meditation through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary, ever Virgin. Ave Maria, gratia, pana dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, se benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mata Dei, or penobis peccatoribus, nuc nehor mortis nostrae. Amen. In honor of Saint Joseph, our guardian angel, and all the saints, we pray Gloria Patria Filio, Spirit Sancto, Secret Erect in Principio, Nuca Semper, and Secula Seculorum. Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and it shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Ghost, grant in that same spirit that we may be truly wise ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Evening Meditation Joseph's Love for Mary and Jesus Consider, in the first place, the love which Joseph bore to his holy spouse. Of all the women who had ever lived, she was the most beautiful. She was more humble, more meek, more pure, more obedient, more inflamed with the love of God than all angels or all men who have been or shall be created. Hence, she merited all the affections of Joseph, who was so great a lover of virtue. Add to this the tenderness with which he saw himself loved by Mary, who certainly loved her spouse above all creatures. Besides, 
Joseph regarded her as the beloved of God, chosen to be the mother of his only begotten son. Consider how great must have been the affection which, for all these reasons, the just and grateful heart of Joseph entertained for so amiable a spouse as Mary. Consider, secondly, the love which Joseph bore to Jesus. Having given to our saint the place of father to Jesus, God must certainly have infused into the heart of Joseph the love of a father and of a father of a son so amiable, a son who was also God. Hence, the love of Joseph was not purely human, like the love of other fathers, but a love superhuman. For he found in the same person one who behaved like his son and yet was his God. Joseph knew from the angel by divine revelation that the child by whom he was always accompanied was the divine word who had become man for the love of men and especially for the love of him. He knew that he himself had been chosen from among all men to be the guardian of the life of the divine infant and that the infant wished to be called his son. Most holy patriarch, I rejoice at the happiness and greatness in being made worthy to have power to command with the authority of Father, him who heaven and earth obey. My holy patron, since God has served thee, I too wish to enroll myself in thy service. I wish henceforth to serve thee, to honor and love thee as my master. Take me under thy protection, O Saint Joseph, and dispose of me as thou pleaseth. I know that whatever thou shalt tell me to do will be for my welfare and for thy glory and that of my Redeemer. Consider what a flame of holy love must have been kindled in the heart of Joseph by meditating on all these things and in seeing his Lord performing for him all the little offices of a boy, at one time opening and closing the door, and another helping him to saw or plane and in another gathering fragments of wood or sweeping the house, and finally in seeing that he obeyed all his commands and never did anything without his direction. What affection must he have felt in carrying Jesus in his arms, caressing him and in receiving the caresses of that sweet infant, and hearing from him the words of eternal life, which like so many loving darts wounded his heart and particularly in witnessing the holy examples of all virtues which the divine child gave him. Long familiarly with persons who love one another cools their affection. For the longer men converse together, the more perfectly they learn one another's defects. This was not the case with Joseph. The more he conversed with Jesus, the better he became acquainted with his sanctity. Consider then how great was Joseph's love for Jesus, since, according to the authors, he enjoyed his company for the space of 25 years. My holy Saint Joseph, pray to Jesus for me. Having obeyed all thy commands on earth, he will certainly never refuse anything thou askest of him. Tell him to pardon me for the offenses that I have offered him. Tell him to detach me from creatures and from myself. Ask him to inflame me with his holy love. And then let him treat me as he pleases. And thou, O most holy Mary, through the love which Joseph bore thee, take me under thy patronage and beg of this thy spouse to accept me for his servant. And thou, O my dear Jesus, who, to atone for my disobedience, did wish to humble thyself so as to obey a man, ah, through the merits of the obedience which thou didst show on earth to Joseph. Give me grace henceforth to obey all thy wishes. And through the love which thou didst bear to Joseph, and which he bore to thee, grant me a great love of thee, O infinite goodness, who dost deserve the love of my whole heart. Forget the injuries I have done thee, and have mercy on me. I love thee, O my love. I love thee, O my God. I wish always to love thee. 
concluding prayer, I give thee thanks, O God, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, for the light which thou now bestowest upon me. I make a firm purpose of my will that I may, in uniformity with your divine will, O triune God, keep my resolutions and keep them well for the love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions, my state in life, and rule of life, now until the hour of my death. I give thee thanks, O God, for the patience with which thou hast hitherto borne with me. I see that although I forgot thee, thou didst not forget me. I am sorry, my sovereign good, for having turned my back upon thee, and I am now resolved to give myself entirely to thee. And why should I delay, that thou mayest abandon me, and that death may find me as miserable and ungrateful as I've been, even until now? No, my God. I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. I love thee, O infinite goodness. Give me perseverance in thy holy love. I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for all the holy souls in purgatory and for all poor sinners, particularly myself. In nomine patria fili, spiritu sancti, amen. Have a blessed evening, O slaves of Mary.